The Republicans uh, have had some real knuckleheads as the head of the House Committee on Science, Space and Technology. Now the last one was actually a guy named Ralph Hall, he was of course from Texas, and he had these brilliant things to say. Uh, why does he think that uh, human beings have not contributed to climate change? He said, well, that's because, quote, he doesn't think we can control what God controls. Well, well there you have it. That's the guy that was the head of the science committee. Now, I don't know, man. I, I, rockets going up into space and NASA. Well, God controls that. We can't control that. I don't know what you're talking about, right? I mean, under that logic, doesn't God control everything, so shouldn't you just pack up the whole committee? Which probably they would love. Ralph Hall also said, hey, that he wasn't worried about global warming. He said, quote, I'm really more fearful of freezing. Okay, <laughs> but how does that relate to the rest of us? <laughs> and he said, I'm also afraid of snakes on a plane. <laughs> and then when they said, hey, wait a minute, you're afraid of freezing, but what difference does that make to the rest of us? He said, well, quote, I don't have any science to prove that. <laughs> In other words, my concerns about global freezing are unfounded. By the way, I am at the head of the science committee. But don't worry, guys, because we have a new head of the science committee after the elections. And it's this gentleman. No, this gentleman. <laughs> His name is Lamar Smith. He's going to be a lot more reasonable. So uh, I'm sure he believes in science. 98% of the scientists believe in climate change and that it is that human beings are contributing to it. Well, so let's find out if that's the case. This is him talking about so-called climate gate and the media coverage of it. Their reporting was largely slanted in favor of global warming alarmists. The networks have shown a steady pattern of bias on climate change. During a six-month period, four out of five network news reports failed to acknowledge any dissenting views about global warming, according to a Business and Media Institute study. The network should tell Americans the truth rather than hide the facts. So, he is not concerned about global warming or climate change. He's concerned that uh, the networks are not covering the 2% of bought scientists enough. The ones that represent the oil industry and the gas and coal industries. And, uh, you know, these scientists, they're probably making all this stuff up the new head of the science committee. Now, why does Lamar Smith think that's so? Well, I might, want, might have a couple ideas as to why he would think that. For example, last year he received $10,000 from Coke Industries. Now, remember, these guys are bought off fairly cheaply. It's always shocking how little gets them to change their vote. Uh, but that's not as big a deal as what he has received over his career from oil and gas industry, which is $500,000. So, this is how the Republican Party works. You pay us bribes, and in return, we put in charge of the Science, Space, and Technology Committee guys who do not believe in science or technology and probably don't even believe in space. Our politics is so corrupt, it's crazy. Speaking of corruption, let me go to the next story. Tide goes in, tide goes out. Never a miscommunication. You can't explain that. Oh, that's a good point. I forgot about that. You know what, for a second there, I thought perhaps we could explain it. But it turns out O'Reilly and Lamar Smith nailed it. Tide goes in, tide goes out. Can't explain it. You know who the next head of the science committee is going to be? Bill O'Reilly. 